Nemesis is a semi-cooperative experience for one to five players. You will lead one of the unique crew members and try to survive on this goddamn ship while trying to complete your secret objective. You will uncover different parts of the ship, each of them unique, each with a special ability. For example, one will open and close door locks. Another can trigger the auto-destruction of the ship. You will also need to search for useful items which will help you heal, fight, experiment, or even craft new weapons or antidotes. But whenever you move, you will make noise, and that can draw intruders. Your hero can panic and shoot all of his precious ammunition into the air, or worse. On top of that, combat with intruders is extremely difficult, and you can become seriously wounded or contaminated. If you become contaminated, it might be infectious, and if not dealt with quickly, it will result in your transformation into an intruder. All of this, and much, much more, makes every game of Nemesis a one-of-a-kind cinematic experience. You may craft a flamethrower and use it in a room full of intruders, or lie to other crew members about fixing the engines, or find the intruder's weakness in the lab, or extinguish fires in the pilot bridge, or become stuck in a room with the intruder queen a second away from entering an escape pod. There is also a whole other layer to this game that plays above the table. You need to cooperate to survive, but due to secret objectives, you never know who you can trust. Talking out strategies and doubting your comrades is a must. When I took this gig, I never thought it could go to hell this fast. It did. Want to know how I ended up next to this beauty? For starters, we were pulled out of hypersleep halfway to Earth. My buddy Jake turned into a human piñata. Some scary-ass shit came out. It hunts us now. No one wants to be next. We made a plan. Turns out, that bastard pilot didn't check the engine like she was supposed to. She broke it and had the guts to tell us it's all green corporate orders or some shit. Then, damn fire cut me out from the rest. <laughs> Not that I trusted him anyway. Fubar, right? <laughs> good thing I've learned a trick or two during my time in the Corps. Step one, some good old suppressive fire. It should get me safe to a quiet place where I can cook up a flamethrower. Step two, <sighs> toast them ugly bastards. Step three, find the surgery, check if I'm clean. Don't want to end up like my pal Jake. Step four, Reach the escape pod. Step five, say goodbye to this goddamn death trap. Oh, and grab an alien egg on my way out. My employers made that one clear. Okay, time to get cracking. Self-destruction system activated. Countdown, 60 seconds. Well, shit. Hey guys, my name is Martin, I'm owner of Awaken Worlds, and uh, I would like to invite you to our new project, uh, Nemesis Board Game. This is the project that we do with collaboration with Rebel. Um, and this game is really unique, uh, there is nothing like it on the market right now. And if you like um, a claustrophobic horror sci-fi setting with Alien, this is the best experience you're gonna get, period. Uh, there is nothing like that on the market currently and uh, it has so many well-designed mechanics. It is really a great game. It has been in development for over three years. Uh, so the balance is really, really, really uh, on a great level. And if you like cooperative games, where you can also be a traitor, you will have a blast playing it. While working on the art, we wanted to make it as immersive as possible. That's why we used a lot of darkness and artificial lights. So when you are looking at silhouettes, you can only see a very strong rim light and a soft light on the character. And we wanted to make the player feel uh, claustrophobic and like they are trapped on the ship. Pledge now and get your day one Kickstarter exclusive. Medic character with unique deck of action and starting items. Space is full of wonders, but also dangerous. 
That's why you should remember the following safety instructions. Rule number one, always wear your protective clothing. Even if the atmosphere appears breathable, do not remove your helmet. Alien life signs detected? Leave it to the professionals. Send out a distress call before it's too late. After returning to your ship, make sure to perform a full medical scan. In case of any contamination, immediately quarantine the affected personnel. If the contamination protocol is broken, do not act individually. Create a defensive perimeter. Then, calmly plan your next steps. Remember, your safety is our utmost priority.